Hello everyone. Another freezing day. The temperature is 20 degrees Fahrenheit and it's going to be going down to a low of 13 degrees. Fun stuff. And uh, sorry that I seem like a, a one-trick pony here doing HA again, but this is all I'm going to be doing when that moon is out, when there's snow on the ground amplifying my neighbor's backyard lights. I'm sticking with the, <laughs> the only protection I have, an HA filter. And today uh, is, this is the, uh, I'm, I'm going after the California Nebula. And it, it shows up pretty well after uh, one five minute exposure. I'm going to capture as many as I can. Um, the problem right now is that it's already at the meridian. I'm going to have to do a meridian flip pretty soon. That's sad. And let's, let's check, take a look at my guiding. <laughs> If you're if you've seen my other videos, <laughs> you might be in for a shock because this doesn't look as good as it used to. And when I posted my video from yesterday to Cloudy Nights to show how my guiding performed with my CGX mount, the smart people there said, "Uh, uh, no way," and they were right. My settings were wrong in PhD too. I had my focal length set to my imaging scope when I was trying out my my OAG, and when I removed my OAG, I never set it back to, to 400, which is the, the focal length of my guide scope. So for a long time, I've been operating at the wrong focal length. Um, so and that caused my graph and my RMS error numbers to appear a lot lower than they really were. So it, it just doesn't, let, let's blow this up to four. <laughs> Oh, woe is me. Sad. But this is how my guiding really looks. I'm sorry if anyone was misled thinking I had such great guiding. Apparently, I don't. <laughs> uh, but if you look at my, my image of the California Nebula on the bright side, um, it still looks the same. So I think it was just a pretty picture I was looking at in PhD too. But my stars are pretty much the same. So I... Uh, Okay, it doesn't look as great, but I, I think the numbers still will get me decent five-minute exposures. So that's the way it is. We'll see how this goes. See you later. Hello, everyone. I had a chance to stack the first four images that came through. And so this is 20 minutes worth, and you can see that this nebula is huge. And it, it never occurs to me when I'm looking at other people's photos when they capture the whole object in a single picture, that it's going I just assume, oh, it's gonna fit in mine, and then I realize, oh, crap, this is probably a, a lot, two or three degrees bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, hopefully I'm just catching the middle of it here. That's kind of cool, I guess, but I'm more concerned right now with my guiding. Now I realize that I need to make sure my polar alignment is good. I, I, I need to make sure I'm, I'm well balanced because my guiding right now is not as good as I used to think it was. These numbers just aren't great over here on the left. And the graph doesn't look good. The, the target doesn't look good. And, and you know what? It, it makes sense because when I would do five minute images, I would wonder, if for as good of a guiding as I was getting, why aren't my stars more round? And I, I guess it makes sense. I really wasn't doing as good as I thought I was. So, I got work to do. See you later. Hello, folks. I have um, stacked 15 images so far, and I'm still collecting more data. But I thought this is interesting. If I zoom in on this picture, after... Uh, with five minute exposures and 15 images so far stacked, my stars near the center actually look more round they, they, than they did in prior sessions. So maybe <laughs> maybe with my correct settings in my auto guide, in PhD too, I mean, maybe I'm gonna get rounder stars. I, I still have to fix my guiding so that it's better, but I'm, I'm liking how this looks so far. This is a big surprise. Okay, um, by the way, my, my collimation was off when I was checking my focus before I started, but it was way too cold. So right now, I'm working with a, a telescope that's slightly out of collimation. So anyway, 
All right. Thanks for listening.